Are you looking for the perfect polish for your RV? We might have the answer for you. Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RV and the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. In this video, we're gonna be talking about this stuff, new finish, what I believe is the best dollar for dollar polish in the industry. Thank you for joining us and if you're new to the channel we invite you to subscribe also make sure you stay to the end of this video because we're going to show you the finished product behind us so let's get right into it the first question you're going to want to ask yourself why is it important to use a polish or a wax uh, on any vehicle but specifically on your motorhome simply said putting a protective layer or keeping your your rv clean and then putting a protective layer over the paint or whatever you have the fiberglass it's going to greatly increase the amount of time that is going to allow that paint or fiberglass to look really good. It's going to cut down the oxidation. It's going to reduce the amount of uh, dirt, droppings, um, pollen, or tree sap from sticking on there. And overall, it's just going to really make your rig look a lot better for a lot longer. So here's a disclaimer, guys. I'm not a professional detailer. I don't do this for a living. But what I will tell you is that I am a big aficionado of keeping cars clean okay I've been doing it since I was like 16 years old my cars are always looking really good okay over those years I've used many many products but I keep coming back to this one and if you haven't heard of it you probably have this stuff has been around for 20 plus years it's called new finish okay this comes in a liquid form and a base form and its claim to fame is that it's the only polish on the market that lasts for one year, okay? And there's actually been testing done on this. Uh, Consumer Reports did do test on this. New Finish claims that it can go up through 52 car washes without having to be used again. So that's one of the big reasons I use it. Is it the best product out there? Maybe not. Is it the best product for the cost? I'm gonna say yes. This bottle right here costs $8. Now, compare, I've used other products, Chemical Guys, Griot's Garage, Meguiar's, to just a list I've used. Those go from, you know, some of them are $12, some of them are $40 for the same size. Honestly, I don't see much of a difference. So I have consistently used this stuff uh, on the trailer and now second season on the motorhome. I'll tell you how I use it. We go by hand once a year. We, we wash and we wax by hand. Now to upkeep with that, we wash our motorhome with DI water every other week. And I'll do the caps because they get hit with the sun a lot. I'll put that on here uh, once a month on the caps. But the body itself, once a year, usually in April, MJ will help me do that and we use this. So how do you use this stuff, okay? And it's real simple. I'm gonna go into my pockets here. Now we sprayed this down before just to clean it off. You're gonna wanna wash your motorhome first to get any loose debris off. You, the last thing you wanna do is be rubbing debris into your paint, okay? You're gonna shake this stuff up. What's really good about this, okay, is that you can use it in direct sunlight, and it's very simple to put on, okay? It has kind of a harsh chemical smell to it. It's like old school, right? Uh, what this is, it's a polymer. It is not a wax, okay? So it's, it's a blend of polymer. You see this comes out in like a liquid form, all right? And then you're just gonna rub it into the paint. You could do circles or straight, however you want. And we're gonna do this whole door here, okay? And I'll show you how this stuff works. Now, New Finish recommends that after you wash in and dry your vehicle, that you apply a layer, okay? And then they recommend for maximum protection that you apply a second layer within 30 days. Then their claim is that this is good for one year, okay? So, we don't do the second coating, we just do one. There's also one little disclaimer, you don't want to get this stuff on the rubber, okay? Because it'll kind of mark it up. Not that you can't get it out, you can, but uh, it might like kind of stain it a bit, okay? So you're going to put it on, and then you're going to let it dry to a haze, which we're going to let that do, and then we're going to come back and we show you how to take it off. Why I like this stuff, guys, also not only because of the uh, how long it lasts, but I think it has some kind of mild abrasives, and this is just my opinion, like very mild. I can tell you, if we, especially on the caps, if there's some like watermarks, I'll spray it down, just wipe it with a little bit of like quick detailer spray, and then I use this on a little polishing pad, and as I it takes the, the watermarks right out. It's amazing how, 
how like good this stuff works, okay? So this behind me started to uh, haze up, okay? I'm gonna take a clean microfiber towel, all right? And I'm just gonna rub it out. It will uh, powder up a bit. So you wanna make sure that, you know, you kind of, after a while, just cleaning that microfiber towel out or swapping out your microfiber towels. Now, granted guys, you know, our RV is pretty clean, but that's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna flip over, clean this nice. I'm gonna now, show a, a full shot of the whole RV Yeah, now too. Andrew Steele, if you're watching this, feel free to put in the comments <laughs> uh, what you're thinking about my detail work here. <laughs> and we're gonna come back shortly and just do like a little demonstration for you. All right guys, so we just did this little section here, okay? I'm gonna show you something really cool. This is just water, all right? And again, this is gonna be why you wanna wax and polish. Just watch how this beads, okay? You see, it's not really sticking, it's just going right down, beading on there. How it kinda doesn't stick on there. And that'll just air dry out. So, look how the water's beading. So that's the result, guys. Um, just my opinion, stuff works really good. Me and MJ knocked this out yesterday, wash, hand wax in about three hours, and we used uh, probably about a quarter of this. So you'll get at least two full waxes for eight bucks. Uh, I don't know how you beat that out there. Thank you guys for watching. If anybody uses something different, or if you use this, put it in the comments below. And from myself and MJ, so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road.